Friday Inspiration Boost. Becoming a Writer, Dorothea Brand, one of my favorite books to refer to, written in 1937, still so valuable. And in there, she talks about how we must not talk about our writing too much to other people, lest we lose the inclination to write. And I believe this can be true, and I brought it up with my writing class recently, and I was given a new point of view to contemplate on this, and that that's a very masculine point of view. Now, she was very definitely a woman, Dorothea Brand. Was it the time that she wrote that in? Or was it the atmosphere? Or is there validity to it? You will have to decide on your own, because I do believe that what she's saying about how when we you know, share that we're going to be a writer and that we're going to write something. And what she says is like, until your name is in print again and again and again, people may scoff or may scorn or may poo poo your idea. And if you do get a person really interested in your idea and wanting to hear more and you talk about it, then because our language is spoken and spoken on the page of Britain, we might feel that we've already told the story and we might bore ourselves. Yeah. So I believe that there is some validity to this. Now, if you are going to remain excited about your book or your story idea, and you can still talk about it and, and keep the excitement, great, go for it. But women who solve things by talking things through, that's great. And that that's true that we do that. Whereas men, a generalization, most often go away and come back with a solution. But if women need to talk things through before they know what to land on their page, then by all means, talk about it. But I'm thinking what maybe she was talking about too more, but she doesn't really illustrate a difference between memoir and fiction, is that if we've got a really exciting idea and we talk about it too much, we might lose our energy to write it. And I believe in that part. So what do you think? Does talking about your writing ideas help you get more energy to write? Or if it's the opposite, pay attention and limit your talking and write it first, then talk about the parts that you've written. That is just a little tidbit of uh, wisdom to apply however it works for you. Now, what can you write for your inspiration today? Hmm. Let me see, pick up something off your table and tell a story about it or uh, show us what its meaning is to you. And if you always have a really neat, clean table, then go to a counter or a junk drawer and pick out something. I mean, right now I could pick a ton of things off my table right now and, and talk about them. But, uh, or a picture on your wall called an ekphrasis, E-K-P-H-R-A-S-I-S, -S, uh, to write a poem to a picture on a wall. Just find something in your environment that you have not written about that brings back a memory or brings up a feeling and go write. Bye for now.